So this is just a quick video about how to prepare a game for Flash Game Archive. Um, I'm not going to be going into how we compress it and put it into the game at this moment, but I just want to show you what it looks like. So we have been collecting Flash games for years. Oh, don't want to take out the whole screen. And let's see here. So we've got tons, tons of Flash games. I think if we are to check out the property, let's just let's let that count while we do this. So we're looking at games that aren't in the archive yet. I don't want high score. Let's check out some of the ones I downloaded in August. Uh, I don't want any adult games at the moment. Uh, Flash games five five five. Let's check that out. Okay, so we're going to sort by size, because usually the larger size means better game, better graphics, stuff like that. <clears throat> Rift Master 2. So, let's StarCraft, RPG, Aliens of Board Game, Paladins, New Grounds Rumble. Let's, let's see if that works. So first thing we do is we just see if it works. Hang on a minute. We're doing the loading. Here's some things to figure out with what you wait. So you don't need any of that. Let's do begin. Flash games tend to be too loud. Alright. Weird. Flash says 532 gigabytes, but it's definitely more than that. It's probably 2.8 terabytes last time I checked. Maybe this will drive. I don't know. It's a lot of flash games. Let's play. New story. And then I'm guessing these are new ground characters you can fight with. Play. Oops, I jumped off. I jumped off again. So, we're going to hold down Alt and push print screen. And what that'll do is allow us to just capture the screen of the Flash game itself. Paste it here into Photoshop. And then I select a perfect square. And I place it somewhere where it kind of represents the game best. We'll stick characters in the middle. Cut that out. Create a new image. Paste that in. And then we resize this image to 180 pixels by 180 pixels, which looks small on the 4K screen. But once we have it in the Flash Game Archive software, it's, it's pretty easily seen. So now we will, well, first, I guess, before we bother saving the picture, let's pull this game out of here because it works. We don't want to have to check it again in the future, so we'll just remove it from there per permanently. Minimize that. And it was called Newgrounds Rumble. So we'll rename it using just underscores because then it's easier to read. We'll copy this name. And save this image with the same name. So now we have the image in the game and we've tested it as far as it works on this computer then it'll work on any computer because it's running off of a certain file. It's running off of Flash itself. So now we need to make sure we go into the Flash Game Archive and we're going to add it to the game directory because the game directory here lets them know um, what games are coming in the next patch and what games are in this current version. So this is going to be new grounds. So if we look now, go to N. Um, so here's the N games that are in the archive already. And here's the ones coming in the next patch. So let's add it to this next patch here. So our name directory. 
in the next patch, we're going to add a name. And we can just paste the name in there. I just leave the underscore in, it doesn't affect the searching. Add name. Now if we go back here and just do an F5 to refresh. And now new grounds rumble is added to the list of what's going to be added to the next patch. We take these files and it was a fighting game. So we're going to put it into fighting and just paste it in here. And then now when I do a patch to the software, adding more games, so I've got the game and I've got the image ready to go. The software, the way I designed it, does everything else. I just put the games in, encrypt them, and it automatically creates everything for me. So nice and easy. But uh, yeah, so that's all it takes to create a game or get it ready for the Flash Game Archive. Um, we've had a lot of requests lately. Thank you so much for taking the time to ask us to include some games. We've filled, I believe, 37 requests already. Let's make sure I got that number right. Let's go back to the front here. <clears throat> and yep, 37 requests. Uh, we filled two today. Uh, which ones did we fill today? I can't remember the names of the games, but uh, what they do is they came down to the bottom of the page, help support the archive. They put in their email um, and they have requested a game. And every time we can fill a request, uh, we will. You don't have to pay anything on Patreon. In fact, you don't have to pay anything at all. Uh, if you're looking to unlock the adult games, um, you click on Patreon and then it asks you if you're 18 or not. And if you say yes, then it gives you the password to the adult games. No money ever has to change any hands here. All right, so next time we do a video, we'll probably show you how we add the game to the archive. Again, we won't show compressions or anything or encryptions, but we can show you how it works.